So good evening, everyone. So let me introduce today's uh, guest speaker, uh, Mr. Ratnesh. So Ratnesh and Aditi are essentially learners over the past 24 years, intensely learning about learning and children. Most of their teachers have been children. They have unschooled both of their children. Uh, daughter is now 25 and has not given any exam in life nor got any certificate or degree. And their son is 18 years and has never been to school. Since 2001, they have worked with over 16,000 children from two years old to teenagers. They ran an activity and child-based learning center called Gini Kids for 11 years in Indranagar in Bangalore. And Gini Kids was funded by IBM Worklife Educational Fund to propagate child-led learning environments in Bangalore. Since 2002, they have been conducting core training programs for parents that is called Jagrati and they have completed 59 batches of the same over its 21 years of journey. They have conducted over 700 teachers and parenting programs for schools, education NGOs, and corporates like ABB, IBM, Cognizant, Cisco, etc. In 2008, they founded Arohi Open Learning Community and have supported thousands of families in their open learning, unschooling, and open learning journey. ROE has a campus for learners of all ages, open to all kinds of interests, abilities, styles, and content areas. Learning by doing what one wants, how one wants, and self-reflection. Community to co-live, co-learn, and co-support each other. ROE campus is in a village near Hosur in Tamil Nadu, uh, that is 60 kilometers from Bangalore. They, instead of teaching, propagate open and learner-driven environments. Their chief role is to agitate, to confuse, to challenge, to listen, to converse, to reflect, and to expand their learning horizon wider and deeper. That's Aditi and Ratnish. Thank you. Thank you, Pramoji. Thank you, yeah, thank you Ratnish. I right, just share my screen. Um, right. So, thank you, Pramoji, for uh, the introduction, and uh, uh, I think I'll straight away jump into this whole understanding of teenagers and what we are creating and wanting to create uh, so that we have maximum time for leftover for question and answers, which I what I'm always interested in interacting with people. So um, <clears throat> we have always delighted uh, in being with children of all ages, as we said. And uh, when we, uh, because we are a community, when we look at uh, different, when we work with, look at different ages, we realize that a uh, thing is not really going, uh, as, as I say, great with the with the teenagers. And there are some needs and challenges that they are facing. Uh, I've, I've briefly put some of the challenges that they are facing. Uh, they're, they're supposed to perform exam after exam, studies after studies, they're supposed to decide very early which career, you know, art, science, commerce, those kind of decisions. Uh, they're supposed to conform to parents' expectations, comparisons, peer evaluations, so on and so forth. And they're supposed to understand themselves, emotions, relationships, their changing sexuality, this, that, everything. That's a lot of things that is expected from them. On top of them, the branding of being a teenager. Well, uh, the the conventional system is great, but it kind of leaves some of them, I'm not saying everybody, uh, in little dilemma. And that is what I want to address today is, uh, so I'm not, I'm not trying to say that there's any issue with conventional system, just that it suits some and it does not suit some. And the ones who it does not suit, they don't know what to do with it. They don't want to study. They want to be doing things that they like doing. They don't want to be competitive they just want to do what they like doing so a whole lot of us i would say because i was one of them who wouldn't really necessarily enjoy uh these the conventional system some of us thrive in that and that's absolutely great nothing wrong with 
uh, with the system, but just that everybody is inputting in there. So uh, interestingly, when we look at the world today, which is rapidly obviously changing, we realize that the, the opportunities to expand one's domain knowledge is abundant. You know, with internet, everything is available, resources are available, travel is available, you know, things have really, really changed. In, in terms of professional choices also, you know, gone are the days when only doctors and engineers were, even in this introduction, I was listening so beautifully, people were sharing such diverse, uh, you know, professional fields. And that was so, you know, gladdening that, okay, <laughs> we, we, uh, the, the, the other great thing is a lot of people are wanting to work with you. They would rather have young, energetic people getting on with stuff. And just like this pool I'm seeing is, I'm, I'm sure, great guiding and mentoring pool. The name itself, the coaching circle is so beautiful. Uh, the whole world, I think, is ready, to, is wanting to actually mentor this youth. They're very, in our experience, whenever we have approached anybody in any industry, we have never got a no. We may get uh, somebody saying, I'm a little busy this month, next month I can guide this child, but never anybody has said, no, I refuse to guide children. Zero percent, right? hundred percent success rate. So with this kind of trend where the youth are really wanting to, you know, get on with their thing, I think it's time we have to relook or rather not just relook, create an option for youth to be able to create what they want to create uh, out of themselves, their own lives. That is the whole idea. So I've got some five uh, quick thoughts on this, which is what we work with. Um, so we have created this concept called coversity, which is very simple. Get together, youth get together and create their own universe. Right. So that's why it's called co-university, as in they create their universe. Uh, the first thing that they do is that they are, you know, they're really interested in different things. They're not sure at 15, at 18, at 20. Some of us, not even at 30, 35, 40, are sure of what we want to do in life. So they're not sure. So for that, they want to explore different things deeply and see which ones they like. Because they may have a list of, oh, I like these three things, two things, five things. Okay, go ahead, explore. So they want that space to deeply explore that. That's the first one. That's what they are interested in. They're interested in what interests them. Some For somebody, it could be guitaring. For somebody, it could be kabaddi. For somebody, it could be coding. So it's all different for each teenager. The second thing that they are uh, very excited about industry, they want real work. They want clients work. They want to feel uh, feel like they're, they're pros already. <laughs> so they like to do actual work in the industry, not, not only the textbookish kind of stuff, but actual industry projects. They like to do work. That's why when, you, when we see a lot of these, you know, NGO calls for volunteers, a lot of youth turn up because they want to do actual work with actual people. They're so excited about it. So that's one of the things they're excited about. The third thing is that they are valuing uh, this whole networking, which is what you, this is a community of networking. So beautiful. And they are valuing this networking, rubbing shoulders with the experts and mentors for the industry. So that's what the teens are valuing. And so, so it's not necessarily that oh, only this person is to be valued. To them, if they are, if, if somebody is into, uh, let's say designing, he or she values designer whose work he or she likes. So he would rather learn from them than learn from anybody else, you know, like that. Uh, the third, the fourth point is that they are very, very open to getting together, taking up challenges, challenging each other, helping each other, supporting each other. It's not like that they, they need to be fed. They're like, when we are together, when they are with their peers, they're like on the go. Right? That's that's they like. They like their peers because they can get and give energy straight away. Much like how I guess we all are peers here ready to give and get energy. Right? And the, the, the fifth one, which is a very, very interesting thought, is, hey, I can be work certified, as in my work talks about what I can do, what I can deliver for you as a client or as an employer or, or anybody as, as a public. So they are very open to being work certified. Maybe it's time we need to think about it. Hey, do, does the world need to certify that you are, you know, good or not good? You have high marks or you are a merit student or not? Or can I can I show what I really like doing? So what we are trying to do is we're trying to set up, uh, we have set up Coversity, which is for teens who are passionate about any one field. 
or who are not enthusiastic about studies or exams, but want to explore what they like, like this boy Hari on the slide who likes to explore who is into bikes and cars and automotive industry, or uh, some who want to explore different fields, like this girl Aparna who is wanting to explore different fields. Right now, she's exploring mud construction. Yeah, so that's the whole idea. And basically giving teenagers their, their chance to lead their education. The youth can be from, teenagers can be from villages, from cities, it doesn't matter where are they from. Yeah. So that's the whole idea of coercity, where we're saying youth 13 to 21, come on, go ahead, discover your passions by doing different work and uh, by developing yourself professionally by doing actual industry work. So as a snapshot, just to recollect whatever I've shared, what the coercity is inviting you to discover their passions by exploring whichever they want to uh, and saying that all passions, all interests are equal, not that you know somebody has to be kept higher on the pedestal, right? Um, then we are saying be in a code because you like working with a, with a cohort, with, with your peers, Choose your domain, go do industry projects, do internships, do apprenticeships, rub shoulders with experts and mentors. We are there as a community to support you, guide you. And eventually, in a few years, you will automatically become professionals. We have already uh, a group of youth with us who are doing this journey with us. And uh, this is actually their picture, one of their groups. Uh, who And all of them are doing different things. youth that this option is available. See, they all know school, 10, 12, college, certification, graduation, PG, all of that they are already aware of. What we are saying, let them make of them aware that this is another option if the family is interested in this. If they're not interested, that's absolutely fine. And the second thing is, we are also looking for more people to start this. Not like, we, it's not like a copy paste of what we are doing, but just the core idea in your own way, in your own style, in your own city. We are doing it in one little space, which is near Hosur, near Bangalore, uh, but not in Bangalore. But we can have more in Bangalore and Pune and Mumbai and Himachal and I think Kanyakumari to Kashmir, everywhere. Right? Uh, more and more people can offer this kind of options. Uh, not and, and we all can form an alliance and work together towards helping the youth. So that's what I wanted to uh, briefly share. I just put my contact there if anybody needs that. But I would rather, whatever time is available, I would rather have some interaction. Anybody has a question or a thought, I, I, at least I can try and briefly answer it. And then obviously, if you want to have a deeper di discussion on it, you can connect with uh, us and uh, we can do a deeper discussion with you. Yeah. Thank you, Ratneshji. Wonderful. And this is such a brilliant idea. I have to tell you that uh, when my children were growing, um, for my daughter, the elder one, we actually went to Uti to look for a school for her. And we found, mm -hmm. uh, you know, for um, this kind of education, you know, unconventional education. We absolutely loved it. Mm -hmm. The kids also loved it, but we did not have the guts to take it. <laughs> <laughs> So we just uh, just loved it, looked at it, and walked past, thinking like, I mean, you might as well do something which we understand rather than <laughs> doing which we don't understand. Sure, sure, sure. As parents, we need to guide our children, and parents need to be educated about this more Absolutely. than the kids first. Absolutely. They would want to do it, but yeah. what about parents? Would they allow? So can you give me an answer to this? What kind of uh, security can the parents actually see in this system for their children's future? Uh, the security is not in the system. The security is in the child. Let's make the child strong from inside. He will build his own bridges, own roads, own relationship, own network. Uh -huh. If you are always going to depend on a system or something else to give us security, we'll always be running from you know, corner to corner. If one problem, then what now? We need another system now to solve this problem. But when we build strong individuals, so if you realize this whole process is child-driven or the teenage-driven or youth-driven, and when they drive, within a few years, they become so strong. 
Yeah. If, if this group wants, I'll bring our youth to talk to you. Then you can see how they how they conduct themselves, how they look at themselves. They are so, uh, I, I, not necessarily clear. They also have a lot of confusions, but their conviction in themselves is something, is, is what comes automatically without us doing anything. Because they are taking their decision every single day. Seven of them applied, had to get internships. And they all applied all by themselves. None of them have any 10, 12 college degrees, nothing. All seven of them got internships on their own. Right. So that's their that's that they had to slog for one and a half months. I'm not saying it was easy, but the whole process, they only came out smarter, more wiser, more understanding what works with people and so on. Mm -hmm. So that's just an example. Yeah, we can take Thank the next question. You. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah. Vibhakarji, you want to ask something? Please go ahead. Hey, I have wanted to make some observation. It was a wonderful, wonderful presentation that I liked it very much, first thing. And secondly, what I think is, in the childhood, the person is very confused and he has got many interests. When he sees a pilot, he wants yes. to say, I want to be a pilot. When he sees a soldier, he says, I want to be a soldier. In that, if the parents or well-wishers around can understand what is his real uh, liking and then foster it, then it will be easy for the child to pursue his uh, 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 what dream. Absolutely. Please help us uh, talk to parents and tell them this thing. I wish whatever you said goes viral all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Bhagaji. Yes, um, Dr. Ananda Priya. Yeah, and um, Sangeeta is not able to raise her hand. So hmm. we'll just call out her name. Sure, you. sure. Yeah, thank you, sir. Actually, for the work done is really great. I don't have words to explain this. But for better idea, can we visit the place? Since Absolutely. I'm not Absolutely. It was a pleasure to host you. Sure, uh, we sir. have all kinds of options. We have day visit options. We have week visit option where you can stay with us. Okay. okay. So, uh, we, we have a lot of different options. Sure, and uh, please, that is the best way to, when we when you when you don't interact with me, I'm, I'm, I'm not the important person. When you actually interact with the youth themselves yeah, and sure, see sir. how they are doing, what and they are Being doing. a parent of two children, I wanted to see in person. <laughs> Please, please, please connect with me and we will sure, invite sir. you either which way, whether you want to come for a day or a week or a longer visit. Absolutely. Sure, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. If we have a campus. We all stay together. Children, adults, guests, everybody stays together. It's a community. So there is no hierarchy, nothing. We are all just together. And uh, uh, yeah, so you're sure, most sir. welcome. We have a place Thank to stay you. so you don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> Be sure. with us. Yes. All, all, all the all the uh, all the participants here and others who may not have joined today, I'm just giving the message. You are all welcome. Just connect with us. Yes, Sangeeta, then Partha Panerjee, then Vishrut Prashant. Thank you so much for the presentation. I mean, I really love the concept because it, it actually allows the individual to just, you know, grow within themselves the way they are and know that they are on their own journey. Uh, my only question here is how is the, uh, you know, the, the the companies and other places receiving this? I mean, I know it's it's not going to be easy and they'll definitely make their way out of it. But I just wanted to have feedback how they are receiving it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for asking this question. So let me give you an example. Maybe that will help of my own daughter. She's 25 now. She has not done any 10, 12, no college, no degree, nothing. Uh, and at one point of time, so she is into sustainability. So at one point of time, she wanted to do a course which is done by Azim Premji University. And the course was for graduates. You have to be minimum a graduate for that particular course. Now, she is not even 10th pass in that sense. So, but she applied for the course, attaching a huge file in, in which she had all the work that she has done in the field of sustainability. All the research, all the articles, all her you know, everything that she had done in a big uh, kind of, you can call it as an e-portfolio, right? And, they, and after a few days, she got a call from them. Yes, dear, you are selected. You don't have to be a 10, 12, anything. We are most happy for you to be with this program and do this program. And she did this program. 
So I'm saying the key is in the portfolio, in your work certification. When you show your work to somebody, obviously you will have to meticulously collect your work. <laughs> then it becomes totally different. Then the other person starts, you know, sitting upright in their chair and saying, let me notice this person. If others have sent one page resume. This person has sent a 200 page portfolio. Mm -hmm. You know what? That starts speaking. Now, I can give I you many it. such examples, but I just wanted to give you because a traditional educational institute, which is requiring a minimum graduation, is open to a candidate just because of the portfolio. Just to give you an example. I so love this concept. Thank you so much, Ratnesh, for explaining that to me. Thank you so much. It's Thank amazing. God. Yes, Parthaji, then Prashant, then Raghavindra. Okay, hi. Uh, excellent presentation and thought behind the concept. And I wanted to know, I live in South Delhi. So what is the way we can develop a center here? Or is there a center already existing? I would like to connect with them locally if possible. Okay, I know Huzur. I have been to Huzur five, seven times. But I sure, thought sure. it's an industrial town. And I never expected such brilliant work being done in an industrial town. <laughs> no, so actually, we are not based in Hosur. We are in a village, a very tiny village, about 20 kilometers from Hosur. So we can't really be called part of Hosur. That's oh. just the nearest landmark. Otherwise, uh, if I say the names here, it would make sense. Oh. So uh, yeah, no, there is no uh, center in Delhi. We would love that you and or, or anybody with you would start something like this. Obviously, as your baby, each baby would be unique, but we will all be connected as cousins. So mm -hmm. please connect with me. We have we have started initiated these meetings of what we call as the alliance, where different people in different cities can start this, um, and it can be started it's small, just with few youth and so on. So please connect with us. We will take this discussion forward. Yeah, I I would like to connect one to one to take it forward. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Look forward. Thank you once again. Yeah, my uh, the mobile the WhatsApp number is there. You can please just note it down, yes. and uh, yeah, we can connect. Yeah, yes, I'll also yes, yes, yeah. 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 yeah, thank you. Hmm. Yeah, Prashant, would you like to share? Uh, yes, Raghavendra, then Manishji. Ah, okay. Uh, hi, it is, it is really uh, nice to know that this kind of uh, uh, school or education exists. Uh, but we have so many uh, things going in my mind saying like uh, uh, kids get explored or the place when they visit there, right? So how it has been structured, like say uh, a kid would have a visibility of uh, uh, making a, I mean, becoming a doctor or an engineer or something else coaching even, whatever. But uh, how would you place there again, a structure of uh, uh, academics comes place again over there, right? No, no, no academics. So without right. that, so, how does really, I'm right. wondering so, how this possible. Sure, sure. So let me first clarify. So there are certain, uh, let's say about 10, 12 streams or maybe even 15 streams, uh, which would possibly be better addressed by the by the academic institutions, like your engineer, doctor, the examples that you gave, or IAS or stuff like that. So this is not for them. But that is only a handful. If you really start counting the professions which definitely require degree, that is only about 10, 15 such professions. Most of the professions, you can get a degree, but you don't necessarily need a degree. Right. So that's the whole point for me to do, let's say, a business. I don't necessarily need to do an MBA. I can just start a business. Right. So just, just a very small example. To be a fashion designer, I can open my boutique. I don't need to have a degree. So the idea is that there are no there, there is no structure that we create. There's a structure each individual creates for himself and the cohort creates for themselves. So they co-create or co-design every single thing right from every day what they will do, this week what each one will do, because each one will have a different feel. Then they will discuss among themselves and they will also discuss with us. We are the guides. And even from each child, one of the parent is also a guide. So we have a pool of guides for them. And right now when I'm talking to you, there's another Zoom meeting happening parallelly with all the youth and all the guides. Weekly review where they'll share what is their plan, what are the help they need, what... So like that, but they decide what work they want to do. They design their day, they design their structure, they design rigor, how much I want to 
put effort where i want to reach what are my goals what are my challenges what am i so they are constantly doing that evaluating that so it's a structured environment structured by them for themselves not by us we are there to give suggestions obviously ideas as and when they seek it because they know we are available and we are also doing review every week so as such the structure is more like circles imagine uh, one youth in in the center the first circle is his is a his or her cohort which is other youths then the other circles is of guides which are inclusive of the one one parent and other other guides like me then the next circle is of mentors which also they build the circle they find their mentors of from their professional so a designer will want a designer mentor uh, you know somebody in digital marketing will want a digital marketing mentor somebody will in stock trading will want a stock broker to be her mentor and so on so then that's the mentor and then there is a larger circle of community so so that is how uh, the uh, the support system is there uh, but there is no academic subjects if for skills they need to do a little course or uh, or get a uh, get a book or learn from somebody attend a workshop they go ahead and do that just like me and you might do if you want to learn something new we might say i'll do it on youtube or i will uh, sign up for a webinar or a course or i will go and meet somebody who can guide me so like that they also do it very similar to how we would do it at this stage okay 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 it's really great yes manish ji Rateshi, I think a uh, few words are not enough to appreciate what you're doing. But Thank one you. aspect I want to just point out is that all of us are coaches and trainers here. In today's world of, you know, over information and over dose of knowledge, one aspect is definitely missing out. That is creativity. Mm -hmm. And what, I, what you are doing, I think, is doing a great uh, uh, work in terms of, you know, maintaining the creativity which is already there within us, but which gets diminished over that period of time as we grow. So that's a great yeah. thing that you're doing. I must appreciate that. But as, as I said, few words are not enough to appreciate what you're doing. Okay. One word I heard which uh, incited me to talk to you right away is Himachal. I, I am from Dharamshala, Himachal Pradesh, and I would oh, like wow. to collaborate in whatever manner. I'll speak to you later. I have your number. Please, please. Uh, to, See whatever we can do in this as much. Thank, Thank you. you. Looking forward to. I also love him much. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So anybody else has anything to ask to Ratnesh? I like to add on. Something he has to... a very important question in the chat box. Sorry, who is that? In the chat box, Vishrut has asked as a parent who has learned the unfinished uh, learn no, data. Can you please share sources of employers who are willing to take on uh, unschoolers? Okay, Ratnesh, what Vishruti is saying is, but as a parent who has learned the conversation way, it concerns us on how our kids will proceed. Uh, he also asks uh, about sources of employers who are willing to take on unschoolers. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so, uh, so are you able to hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah. So uh, you, you want me to respond to this question that share sources of employers who are willing to take in unschoolers? Well, I would I would put it the other way around. Uh, I would say anybody who, who says that I want to do this kind of work. So I say now you have to figure out how you would like to make within quotes, impression on them or entry into that, let's say, industry or, or job or employment, if it's an organization, it's a corporate, for example. Now, gladly, the in thing, if you would have noticed, is internship. You see that all around people are going from there. And that has become a beautiful work certified way of getting inside an organization. Where you take up internship, getting internship is much easier because the companies don't have anything major at stake uh, and, and they are more than ready to do it on portfolio. Uh, the best part is when you are there now, it is up to you to show that you are work, or you are work worthy or you are that company worthy. And that is work talking, no more anything else talking. So that's been the favored route 
uh, by most people to get an employment offer, including, uh, I can again speak for my daughter very easily, two, two three places she got internship and whatever, fortunately from all places she got offer. Not just that she never really took those offers because she was clear she wanted to do more work and sustainability and not work as an employee. But that's okay. That's her personal decision. The that that is the that, that that is the you can say the training you get when you start with doing client projects industry project you realize you have to be committed you need realize you have to be responsive you realize that how you have to network and and understand the other person's requirements first and you know all those things i'm sure you you all are coaches so you are sharing with each other so these are the kind of things they are talking about in a in a little uh, obviously a beginner form so uh, you guys are the gurus and they are the beginners but they are in a way that's their network and they are learning the same things uh, at, a, at a lower rung but the same things as all of you are talking about in this beautiful group the, the coach circle group so I'm I'm so glad that's why to be here when Pramoji said I said definitely I'm I'm coming <laughs> this is what these guys are uh, it's like a, you are the bigger version the bigger tree of the smaller tree <laughs> <laughs> or the baby tree or whatever so yes so companies are very very willing and a lot of them are very clearly also interested in startups and entrepreneurship and because they get that will out of themselves that i can do it yeah so that that's also true so not everybody is looking at employment a lot of them want their own agencies to be <clears throat> freelancers to be able to do multiple things and uh, one of the things we also value a lot is that, hey, go out, do things. So they go trekking, they go, uh, you know, visiting this, they go volunteering. So it's not just work, work, work. There's a lot of self-development that we work on, you know, where they connect with like fitness, physical fitness, all of those things. So even little, little things work on your emotions, understand nonviolent communication, understand this. All of these things they work on. And they connect with experts to get, uh, you know, get them, get workshops conducted for them or sessions conducted for them, like that. I I'm seeing so much similarity between the court circle and what they are doing. Mm -hmm. As I said, just as a smaller plant, that's all. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And uh, thank you, Ratnesh, for accepting our invitation and being here today. So I know uh, Ratnesh for quite a long time. It's more than seven to eight years, I guess. Yes. And I invited him to my place uh, to conduct a parent uh, session. And I also visited his place in Kelamangala. Uh, then last week, you know, I was uh, searching for a list of guests. So he was in first in my list. So I thought, let me invite, check with him and invite. Then uh, he accepted the invitation and he's here. Thank you, uh, Ratnesh, for your time and uh, your session. Thank you. We look forward for one more session soon. Sure, maybe this time with the children <laughs> themselves. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for this opportunity. Special thanks to Pramodji and Safnaji. Thank you. Thank you. Thank it was amazing. And uh, even the question answer section was so engaging. I wanted to ask one little thing very quickly. How does it fund, you know, uh, this, this entire setup? How does it fund itself? Right. So there are two parts to it. The working uh, of the uh, the cohort and the coercity is self-funding. So that's self-sustainable. The the community, whoever is part of it, puts in uh, and we see what are the expenses. And so, so that's like a self-sustaining thing. But we we are looking for actual crowdfunding. We are raising quite funds, not for running this coercity or this cohort of youth, but to build this as a concept, to bring it out to more people and and see if more coercities can start, not as a copy of our coercity, as independent uh, with any name. I'm just calling them as more coercity, but they could be in any name, in any city, in any form. So for that, we are raising funds because we need, we, we have a dedicated team who's trying to talk to people, reach out to parents and do all that. But the coerce, the ROE coercity by itself is self-sustainable. It's through the contributions. And if somebody needs uh, support, we provide that support also. Wonderful, wonderful. I think all the questions you've answered and everybody's very satisfied and also intrigued.